There's a solid story in here somewhere. Okay, guys, this is a review for the movie Cult Killer, which was provided to me by Sabin Films. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce the name of this company. I, I've seen them around. I just don't know. I've never seen anybody say their name. Sabin, Saban, whatever. I was pro provided a screener for their upcoming movie Cult Killer, which I believe is slated to come out on the 19th of this month. And this review is going to be going Going up on the 15th. That's when the review embargo lifts. So the premise of this story is that it's about this woman named Cassie Holt and she is dealing with some substance or alcohol abuse and she befriends this guy named uh, Miguel. I think his name was Miguel. He's played by Antonio Banderas. Cassie Holt is played by Alice Eve. And then a few years later, he gets murdered. This is not a huge spoiler. This happens in the first few minutes of the movie. He gets murdered and so the rest of the movie comprises of her trying to figure out who has murdered him. She's a private investigator. He taught her how to be a private investigator. They became like partners or whatever. She started working for him after he helped her put her life back together and she's trying to solve his murder and throughout the course of that story playing out, we see flashbacks between her character and Antonia Banderas's character showing the different things that he taught her over the years before his untimely death. The reason I say there's a good story in here somewhere is because the story itself is actually not bad. I didn't dislike this movie, but I did notice that there were some issues with it, which I'll get to after a bit. I'm gonna touch on the pros first. I did feel like it had a clunky sort of startup or setup in the beginning, and then it settled into the main story, but that clunky part is, I'm gonna touch on that in the con category. I liked that this film had an interesting and unexpected twist with the killer and that we find out who the killer is early on. And it's interesting. The dynamic between the character of Cassie Holt and the killer plays out throughout the course of the film and it takes turns that you might not expect. I certainly didn't and I liked that. There were also some interesting shots where they would be talking on the phone with each other and it would be like a split screen where the main character's up at the top and the killer's on the bottom and they're talking, they're having this conversation. I thought that was shot pretty well. I also liked that this character, while she was a private investigator and she had, she did have martial arts training, which she explains why through the course of the film, you understand why. It's not just the, oh, it's so convenient that she happens to know jujitsu and uh, whatever that other word is. Uh, Jeff does this. Oh my gosh. Kramaga or something like that, whatever. We find out why she knows these things. It ties into her character, the core of her character. So I like that we get this realistic explanation, but I also like that despite the fact that she can take care of herself to some degree, she was not a girl boss. She got her ass kicked. And I also liked that in the scenes where there were, let's say, punches being thrown or a fight sequence happening or whatever, it was very realistic in that one punch pretty much did incapacitate somebody. Like they couldn't just bounce back how we see in a lot of, you know, action films and comic book movies. And, and also the very fakey punch sound that you hear all the time. Oh my goodness, I hate that. I don't know why they do, maybe I do. Maybe it's because it sounds more impactful and dramatic. But when I hear that fakey spow sound, you know, when someone's punching a character, it takes me out of the moment because I know that that's not what they sound like. I appreciate when movies make it sound like how it really sounds. And in this film, they did. That was something that I noticed. And I also like, as I've said before, or how one punch and someone wasn't jumping back up from that. They were still trying to recover. And then in the meantime, this character would get kicked or whatever. And then they were really down for the count. They could not get back up. So these were things that I really appreciated about this movie. And so now I'm going to, I'm going to slide into the cons. I have some cons, but despite the ones that I'm going to mention, I don't want you to take this as me saying that I hated this movie and thought it was terrible because I didn't. I think the main thing that this movie suffers from is 
editing or pacing issues. I feel like it would have been better to start this movie off with the hook of the death of Antonio Banderas and then us jumping to the, the character and her trying to solve his murder and grieving greatly over the loss. But the way they did it, it... It was this, to me, it felt like a bit of a clunky setup. I almost feel like if they had shown this murder and you don't know who it is, and then the main character is informed, and then you go through all of these flashbacky moments where she's just dealing with this grief of the loss that she suffered, or starting with their relationship first, and they do sort of-ish start with it, but it just, it just didn't feel like it worked very well. It didn't feel like it was shot very well and the writing for that part just didn't feel solid to me. But if they could take their relationship first more extensively than they did in the actual final product, which is where they meet up and then it jumps to five years later and then he's dead. And then the rest of the movie, you see their relationship through her flashbacks, which I guess, you know, the flashbacks, I get that it's a tool for us to understand the level of love that she had for him, platonic love. And you understood this great loss that she had. But when when they were inserted, it felt like it, it interrupted the narrative a bit too much sometimes. Like they were inserting this in to tell you, oh, this is where this part of this situation comes in for her because this is how it ties into what he taught her uh, when he was mentoring her. And it, it, it felt a bit jarring. And that's kind of what I mean when I say it's like editing and pacing issues. Then there was another moment that felt a bit clunky and it was just basically there. It was, they were trying to give exposition in the form of this dialogue between a detective and her. The way he was asking her about her weapon felt like it was just shoehorned in there for the purposes of letting her know something about the weapon that it was like well okay that would have been better served revealed to us in some other form or fashion maybe in a flashback sequence despite me <laughs> complaining about some of the about the way the flashbacks were handled in here these are really my main issues i didn't have many other problems with this film there were a few moments where especially some stuff that was happening at the end felt like it didn't flow very well it just felt a little bit off and it felt like it was a tad rushed just to get to a particular point in the movie and so that didn't work quite as well for me as I wish it had but that also ties into the whole pacing and editing stuff that I've mentioned for me that's the main issue with this movie I felt like the acting was decent you know Antonio Banderas was Antonio Banderas and he was lovely and he did a great job in here one of the other characters who played in here her name was Jamie and she was played by Shelly Hennig and I knew she looked familiar I'm like where have I seen this chick and I looked her up and she played in Teen Wolf that's where I first saw her I felt like she did a really good job in here there were some emotional moments with her in here that uh were, were quite touching and I feel like if the film had just been pieced together a little bit better it might have been more impactful but you know whatever it's nothing we can do about that now but uh, I, I feel like the acting in here was was what kind of held it together. Alice Eve, she did okay. There were moments where I felt like her acting was stronger in certain scenes than in other scenes. And there were some of the other side characters who, a couple of the side characters, maybe you'll know them when you spot them, that I felt like they didn't do the best job. I don't know, they, they almost came across as cartoony. Oh, there goes the camera, sorry. I'm hitting the table. They came across a, a bit cartoony to me. And then one other thing, one, there was one other thing that I completely forgot to mention. I didn't write this down. And I'm surprised I didn't write it down because it jumped out at me at the very end. There's something that happens at the very end and it makes you wonder, well, there is no way this could happen and there not be some sort of suspicion that would cause a problem. But this thing happens and then we get to the end, you know, the final scene and apparently there has been no mention of it no issue of this particular event that happened and i'm thinking mm, that doesn't feel exactly right because this would have caused problems for the main character because of a particular thing i'm being vague i think you'll know it when you see it basically long story short 
is that this film is okay. I didn't think it was terrible, but I feel like a little bit of re-editing could have made it so much stronger than what we ended up getting with this final product. I could see myself potentially watching it again, but at the same time, it's not gonna be one of those detective-y mystery type stories that's way on up here for me. So could have been stronger, I think. But I definitely don't consider it a waste of my time and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to screen it. But that's about all I can say about Cult Killer. If you guys end up watching it, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, to hear if you picked up on the things that I'm talking about vaguely here because I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Okay, I think that's it. I'm wrapping this up for now. We'll see you guys later. Adios. Adios.